It's Halloween, we're live from the most haunted city in the world. We're in the middle of that city in probably one of the most spooky locations, or at least it looks like that from outside. We're in Clifford's Tower with English Heritage, and we're here for Haunted at Halloween. <laughs> so tonight our uh, clairvoyant is uh, Claire Rogers. Claire, tell us a little bit about how you've got to, to where you are now, I guess. I mean, when did you first realise that you had abilities or was it something you learned? Or? No, um, when I was three years old, it's my earliest memory, is when I was living in this house, um, my mum used to say, um, go and play in that little room upstairs next to your bedroom and I was always scared and she was like, there's no need to be scared, go up there and so I used to go in there and I'd always complain about voices and she's like, well we can't be able to talk and she'll be the person in there and that's my earliest memory and later in life I found out that the um, house really soon was haunted. Okay. <laughs> so it was really happy. <laughs> so basically I was born like it. Okay and, and oh, wow that must have been quite something to think actually these things I thought were there are real. Yeah well when I was about 13 my mum started taking me to spiritualist church and so I've, I've grown up in that environment because my mum's like a spiritual healer and so she's taught me to work with the gifts, shall I say. Okay, so tonight we're here at Clifford's Tower and I know you said you've not tuned in yet no, and, and okay. we'll, we'll wait for that. Um, I mean, how, how does it kind of work? I mean, I'm very open to this, but... Um, the more it, open you are, the more you receive. Yeah, I mean, do you know, you know I, I've been to all sorts of things. Some things have happened to me. And, and, you know, it's made me want to know more about this. Kind of why we do this, actually. Um, but tonight, will it be? Is it a case for you that you'll find things associated with the building, or is it likely that maybe you'll you'll pick up on things associated with other members of the team that are here? Or um, what do you both, think? Slightly? Probably. I can do both. Right. So. Um, even if I go into a modern house, I can pick up on something. It's not generally just so ghosts associated to old buildings. But yeah, if there is activity around here, then they'll they know I'm here already. It's just a matter of me tuning in, and then they'll come in contact me. And looking at your website, even though this is a bit of a promo bit for you, really. Um, yeah. Looking at your website, you do you're, you're available for all sorts of kind of bookings and things, and. Uh, I find that quite interesting that people come to you for parties and, and such like. Yeah, um, what they do is they um, usually have to invite ten friends around their house and I'll just go around and give um, one to one readings to them all and guide them in whatever way they need or contact past the ones. And what kind of things will come out in, in, in a, a, a reading like that? Well, all readings that I always do, and, um, I'm always contacting spirit because that's who gives you the message. Uh, it's not me. It's spirit. It's basically they channel their energy, and um, I can see the spirit stood next to the person. Um, they like show me hairstyles and what they do. <laughs> and I describe the person, and um, generally they know who the person is. But if they don't know who the spirit is that I'm seeing, then they go home and ask somebody in the family, and then, then they say, "Oh, yes, that was your uncle John you never met." But from the description, I know. And how do you find people react? A lot of people will cry because it's an emotional release. Uh, a lot of people will... I've turned sceptics who actually believe now. So, uh, so are you looking forward to this evening? That's the I most am, because question. I've never been here, so I'm really interested. I've done a few um, ghost hunts around York, and I've never been here. Okay. Brilliant. Now, a link from our website is your website anyway, but just in case anybody's listening and they're, they're on their computer right now and they want to visit your website, what's the address? The address is www.orckid.co.uk, Orchid, and that's my initial and my husband's initials combined. Fantastic. Well, we've linked to it from our website as well, minsterfm.com. Go on there, find out more. Maybe you can have Claire around your place for uh, for your next part. Do you know, I think it's a really interesting idea having a, a kind of psychic party. Yeah, they're all good fun. <laughs>